I love this fun little piece. And we've used some really interesting techniques that I think will help your customers visualize um, different things that you're talking about when you're explaining and creating innovative designs. So one thing I like about this too is the stacked frame, right? We've used a Roma frame combined with a Bella. Um, and when we put this together, both had a high gloss, high lacquer finish to them. And when we put them together, the shiny orange didn't quite, we, it just needed to tone down a little bit to help step down and transition to the piece. So we just hit that with steel wool. We took that shiny finish right off. So I think it's a nice, um, nice contrast between the two. And then the mat, again, fabric wrapped mat, which are highly profitable, great to showcase. But this one's a little unique. So these um, are just mat board cutouts glued to the mat and then covered the whole piece with, with a fresh piece of fabric, which is also the third mat underneath here. Um, but using the flexible fabric fillet um, from Frank's Fabrics, I think is a really neat technique. We use the same sort of linen um, throughout the whole package. Uh, I think it's really, really striking. I think it's going to be a, a favorite one of, of, of your customers, for sure. Meg, I have a question. How do you go um, and get the client to go for this extreme sort of gorgeous framing? Good question, right? Um, I think every framer is pretty comfortable with a double mat and a basic basic frame because we all sell that you know, day in and day out. Um, and here's where I think it's really important to show your client this. Now, I have no unrealistic expectations, so not everybody is going to go for this kind of design. But I think there's value in showing it, talking to your customers about it. So what I do with my customers, I oftentimes ask them, you know what the meaning is of pieces, so I know it's their precious dog, and they had an artist create it for them, or you know whatever becomes a talking point. Then I simply ask him, "Would you like me to show you how this could be really unique?" And do you think they're going to say no? No, they're going to say, "Well, of course, show me." Um, and then uh, I start showing them past projects that I've done that have been really one of a kind, just extraordinary frames. Um, and then if, by having a display on this wall you can come over and show them what a stack frame is going to be like. And what when you stack the frame and then you take it away, take the orange out and see how plain it becomes, then they're starting to understand visually how important those extra design elements are. And um, so I think that's a good way to do it. And the other thing is people want to feel special. And, and I think with custom framing, that's a product that we sell that nobody else is going to have one exactly like them. So I think that's... It's a great, great way to just give that kind of personalized service that customers are going to get excited about these kind of designs, right? And that's what turns them into evangelists for your company. That's what gets them excited, and they're talking about it at parties and family and friends about, oh, you've got to go into the Framers Gallery because they did this great, innovative design. It's creating that kind of excitement with your customers that are going to continue to make you guys really successful. Meg, in terms of color, how do you know when too much is too much? Okay, so good question. <laughs> so you notice this is a really bright, vivid image, right? Um, but there's not a really complicated color scheme. But deliberately, I used a cream mat around there because I wanted something interesting with pattern and texture, but not a lot with busy color. And then by repeating this uh, fillet fabric, fabric fillet, uh, repeating the same color, it kind of creates that uh, repetition in the frame design. Um, but I think just staying with the color of the, the pop of orange with the dominant color in the background um, keeps it from looking too, too crazy busy. But I think staying classic neutral colors, particularly on top mats, to keep it so it's a more timeless kind of, kind of look, I think keeps, keeps customers happy. So if you were to bring in like a little bit of color, since it is a very bright, colorful piece, like obviously we don't want to distract from that, you would probably do it in the stacked frame and not in the matting? I think it's a nice design element, and I'd love to take advantage of this gorgeous uh, orange burl wood frame. Um, and yes, I, I like the simplicity of doing the same cream colored mat on the top and down underneath also. And you notice I did this band about three quarters of an inch wide because I felt it was important for the viewer's eye to have a place to rest between the artwork and the complicated framing out here. So that's really that purpose of that, that extra mat underneath. Okay. 